episode, this is the Great Rick here with another episode of Let's Pay, Play Fire Emblem Gaiden. So, before I go on and do the last two fights of this chapter, we're gonna head into Geese's Fort and grab a couple of things. The first is Sonia. What? You've dealt with Geese? Well, that vile man had it coming. Hmm. I owe you guys one, eh? I got gotcha. you. I'll lend you a hand. Mage Sonia joined you? Has joined you? Thank you. Now I can return to my services at Mila's Temple. Hold on, could it be? Hmm? What's the matter? My apologies, you just bear a striking resemb resemblance to Lady Lepri Leprica. Leprica? That was my mother's name. Then you are truly Princess Antiz. This is wonderful. You knew my mother? Please, tell me about her. Yes, Lady Leprica was originally a priestess at Mila's Temple. The king, charmed by her beauty, forcibly made her his queen. It was hard for her to bear, and she soon caught a grave disease. Soon after she gave birth to you, she perished. She worried so about you. Oh, Lady Antiz, don't cry. I have something I must give you. This diadem proves that you are the Princess of Sophia. Please use your power to save the kingdom. Selica was promoted to royal class. I'm returning to Amelia's temple. Take care, your highness. But yeah, let's look at her stats as... As a... As the new royal class. So yeah. I, I keep thinking that her promotion's in chapter 4, but it's in chapter 3. And now we get Est. Ah, big sisters. Oh great, I'm coming with you guys too. Pegasus Knight Est has joined you. Alright. And enter Geese's Fort. Or, yep. And... Oh. Oh shit. So... Yeah, now that, um, Geese is dead... Those guys are going in for an attack. And phone night attacks. So with that, at least it's just a unit of three, so that's good. Enemy. So yeah, enemy bow knights attacking. It's a bow knight and two paladins. Not a bad combination. Bit of a dangerous one, but could be worse. Let's see, what level is she? Level 8. Okay. So yeah, um... Pretty much in until those guys are dealt- until um, the bosses are dealt with, those assholes are gonna keep appearing. Like, these assholes are gonna keep appearing, so... 9 damage. And, yep, so group got 1 EXP, and Python got 10 EXP. That's good. Let's see if Gray can deal some good damage to him now. If he can, that, that will be... Okay, so how much damage does Gray deal? 3 damage. Barely any. 8 damage. Yeah, so that's not a good trade-off. Because, in the end, Gray will still get screwed over. So, come on, Clive. Kill this guy. Eight damage. Four damage dealt. And Paladin dodged. Alright. And, now let's have... You attack with the Excalibur Cliff. Nine damage. And Cliff is now level 10. HP up one, skill up one. And now let's do this. And I just realized that Celica's team is much more powerful than Alm's team. I'm gonna actually... I might rectify that soon. 
Especially because, um, especially because, uh, Claire needs a visit to the temple. But so I'm gonna have you warp right next to the Bow Knight. So go on. And you were warped. Good job. And now we end turn. And he's gonna attack Gray again. For eight more damage. Yay. And now this guy is going to... Okay, so four damage dealt. Clive counters. Critical. And Clive finishes with another critical. Or nope, not another critical. I was hoping it'd be another critical, but... And what can you do? So, kill this guy. And kill this guy, please. Eight damage. And dodge, okay. That just leaves room for, uh, for Gray to get a kill. Now, again, with another attack. And then I'm gonna have to do some grinding off screen because I think it's good that bef I think it'd be good for before this chapter ends to have my units be a good level and not it, not dead beyond all relief belief. So let's see. Come on, hit hit hit, and th that guy's dead. So. Yeah, Alm gets 36 EXP, because he's got way too high a level right now. And let's see you kill this guy, Gray. Alright, so... But yeah, this will be... But yeah, I'm gonna just uh, finish this guy off right over here. Okay, so moving... So I'm gonna move Alm this way. And then I'm gonna move Celica over here. So that we can, uh. So I can show off my new character's stats. Oh, wait. Do I have them out here? Or. Yeah. Sonia's a mage. So, yeah, this is Sonia. She's a level 5 mage with fought with uh, 13 magic, 11 skill, 12 speed, 4 luck, 10 defense, and 12 M defense. Like, she's got some good HP. She's got some good stats going for her. And then I think this one... And then finally, Est. She is a level 3 Pegasus Knight with 20 HP, 5 skill, 11 speed, 5 luck, Four defense and 12 M defense. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hand her the angel ring. That means that she can now pretty much deal with anything. So let's see. Attack the zombie. Eight damage. And she's gonna take a while to promote, but I think but I know I'm gonna use her because. She has, like, three different growths that are in 50%, as far as I remember. And that many growths, growths in 50% is gonna be awesome. Now, I wish these guys didn't join at such a low level, because... Well, okay, with Est, it makes sense, because she's the Est. But everyone else, it's just kind of an annoyance. But anyway... I'll be right back after these skirmishes and this promotions. Alright, I'm back. And so, since we're back, and, um, things were gonna go kick me in the ass if I don't do stuff now, I'm gonna go and do this battle against... Tatara. Ah, okay. This one I'm gonna have to be much more careful of. Because... As you can see right there, we have a female witch. Ho oh, oh. ho. 
You fools hope to beat me, Lord Tatara? You, kill those idiots with your aura. So yeah. This is our, this is one of our last characters, Duke. Shh. And, um, yeah, as you can see, she's an enemy, but in order to beat her, you must, uh, like, in order to recruit her, you must spare her. Which is kind of a hard thing to do if you don't know anything about this game. And you just know, okay, all these maps so far have been route chapters. So let's kill everything in sight. But in reality, if you do that, you kind of screw yourself. Because you miss out on Dute, who is a pretty good mage, especially for guidance ropes. Especially for guidance. So, let's make so. I'm going to make sure to recruit her, because otherwise... Otherwise, crap's gonna get messy. Also, she's gonna be a pain in the ass for another- for one reason. She, she, like every other witch in this game, can warp. So, pretty much, she'll try to strike you from behind. And you can deal some damage to her, just make sure not to kill her. But yeah, don't kill her, and she'll just retreat- She'll retreat to the nearest healing spot, eh. Yeah, as you can see, she has now officially warped over there for the fine Lord Tatara. Die! And who did she attack? Silk. Okay. And no HP damage was dealt. So... Yeah, this is gonna be a bit of a tough one because with uh, Silt, with Dute, she will attack and she will damage herself and she will throw herself in suicide range. Alright, and these guys can barely hit Claire, so yeah, Claire's just gonna be a meat shield for right now. I really hope that with, um, with Echoes, I wonder if they'll change her recruitment in Echoes. Like, again, I've not looked up anything about the game, aside from growth. So, all my knowledge is... Let's have Ryuto actually attack his sister. So, come on. Five damage. And... Yep, she's gonna, yeah, she's gonna be a bit of a trouble, she's gonna be a bit of trouble, so let's see, Ryuta recover 12 HP, and I'm gonna have Python snipe at this guy, so, nope, no damage, Come on, you can be awesome damage. 15. That's good. That means he's now more than halfway dead. And I think my characters on all side are more underleveled than I realized. Because I think by this point you're supposed to have nearly tier 4 units. But these guys are only like half the level. And um, grinding at the temp at the Chapter 3 Temple's a pain in the ass, which, and I don't want to do that, sh and I'm not going to do that, so, so no. Okay, next is Gray. Let's see how much damage he deals. 8 damage, and Dora. And 8 more damage. Good job. Okay, let's see how much damage you deal, Cliff. So... Damn it. Five damage. Not enough to kill, but let's see who all is in... I'm gonna give this kill Robin because Robin needs some EXP. Actually, a lot of people need EXP. 
11 damage. And he levels up! 7, power 1. But yeah, um, Dute, also known as Delthea in Echoes, is one of the hardest to recruit characters because she will she will suicide against you and like like she will attack someone that will suicide against that she'll suicide against and then you can't recruit her and you're you're, sh you're shit out of luck for a character actually I think she disappears if you kill the uh, boss but I'm not entirely sure so we're gonna te I'm, I'm gonna test that actually I'm gonna use a uh, Claire to test that. And wait, is there any archers up here? No, it's all mages. And this is also tough because, again, all mages, wizard cast fortify. Oh shit. One HP stolen. Couldn't steal HP. So, yeah, also he has the Fortify spell, which is going to be a fucking pain in the ass. Like, seriously. Fortify is one of, like, the most annoying spells in this game, and she's going to, and he, he's going to use it to his, to all hell and back. So, Fortify, Gray Counters. 8 damage, and 8 damage. The worst part about fortifying this game is that it's for enemies only, I'm pretty sure. Like, there is no ally that gains the fortify spell. Unless they, again, I'm just speaking if they changed, how, like, because, again, I'm not trying to speak like I know stuff, but, because I really don't, but, depending on what they changed in Gaiden, or what they changed in Echoes, then Fortify will be a lifesaver for us allies. So 15 damage. Good job, Python. Wait. Okay, no, she she can't move there. Let's do this one. And he's dead. 16 EXP. And Matilda, since she's level 3, I can give her some damage. I can give her one of these kills. Ooh, critical. Good job. Ain't no bringing that one back. Reach level 4, speed up 1. So now she is... Yeah. I'm gonna move Clive up here. And you're gonna die, wizard, because I'm tired of dealing with you and your fucking asshole. So, goodbye. And, level 6, HP up 1. Nope. Alright, and now, let's just kill this guy. And I deal 17 damage to him, which is like Dark Sword damage. Alright. And 17 damage dealt. Alm gains 16 EXP. He's due for a promotion really soon. Because if you... Okay, what I'm... Okay, what I'm about to do is really risky, so... I really hate having to do 5 damage. If he kills, then... And... Recover. Please double recover. Please double recover. Okay, 12. Nope. Alright, that's fine. Perfectly fine. 
I am 90% sure that if I kill um, Tatara, then he, then she will be free, and I will be able to s like just. Yep, she's running away, and they're going towards me. And wait. Oh yeah. I forgot that that deals damage to him, so and he's not a healing tile, so let's do this. Six damage. And his death spell. Which has a low hit rate. And Yep. Now he's just dealt damage to himself. And Dute is pretty much subdued for this chapter. She can't really do much, so... Like, yeah, as long as she's injured, she can't do much, and I doubt they're really gonna try to uh, attack us anytime. Like, they're, they're really gonna heal him. He's gonna really heal himself anytime soon. Oh. Right. Right, right, right. So, yeah, those guys come over, and no attack, no attacking right there, nope, and I'm gonna deal some damage to this guy. 13 damage, and he's gonna damage himself, and 13. Go ahead, and 20 EXP, wait, how much damage do you deal? 6 damage? Okay, not bad. Could be worse, could be better, so come on and die. Die, die, die. Yes. And Clive gets 20 XP. And I think by next chapter I'm gonna have... I think by, like, soon I'm gonna have everyone promoted to their final class. But with... So many, like, units to train, so many to keep balanced, like, in this game it's kind of hard to have a bench because, you know, there's maps where everyone is active no matter what, and this is one of those cases, it's gonna save state right here again, 6 damage, and he casts death. And he's dead. Make Doma's blessings. Tatara slain. Clark gets 32 XP. Oh, my head. What am I doing here? Uh, Ryuto. And she's gone. Just as I thought. And that removes the threat for this chapter, so... Now it's time. For us to just go in and kill shit. So, go on and die. 12 damage. And... 12 damage. Alright, so this guy isn't going... To be able to fight back. So, Force will kill him. And... There you go! One of the most interest- like... Honestly, Diuk's recruitment is one of the most interesting I've ever seen. Just because of how hard it is to do. Alright, save. Continue playing. I don't know what happened, brother. Eh, I was under Tatara's control. So that's what it was. I'm sorry if it's been a bother. Mage Dude joins. 
What, you want me to open the floodgate? If I do that, the water will pull out too fast, causing a flood. Sorry, but until the floodgate at Mila's temple is open, I can't do that. So... I was right. You have to do... You have to do Celicus first. But let's see how much time I'm at. Okay, yeah, I'll make this a special episode. I'll make this another 40 minute one. So... Let's go! And with this... We have... Look! The Temple of Mila! Stay alert! Mikhail, one of Doma's shamans, is ahead. Everyone, protect our trailer allies! Bitch! Like... You can't really do shit! I mean... It's nice that you want to try, but... You can't really do crap for us. Or, like... You can't really do crap to protect your weaker guys, because... You're weaker guys! Because everyone's weak to, to the magic except for a fucking Dreadfighter! Let's see... And, yeah. Oh yeah, fun fact about shamans, like, if you look at their portraits, all of them have the same portrait. And the, all of them have the Messiah spell, but what the Messiah spell does, it's, it's like... It's like the illusion spell, but only it summons a specific type of monster. Lucky for us, we've now got units that can heal. So therefore, we are good. And... Now we have Katria the Falcon Knight, who has nothing to her. Atlas is g close to promoting, which is good. Like, he's about a few levels off. And Jesse is close. Well, actually, no, Jesse is, like, not even halfway, so... That, but, yeah. You can, like, you can use deer to negate the enemy's abilities. And, yeah, I've off-screen I promoted... Quite a few people, so Silica's team now has some tier 3s on it. Which is gonna make things a lot more interesting soon. Like, cause... I think the highest enemies get aside from bosses is tier 3. And so... Yeah. Alright. I'm gonna be careful right here and move Est over here. Because there's a specific thing I'm going to try. Because it's in this game's coding. This, as simple as as simple a code this game has, I... And actually, I might be using my, ta my words wrong, because I'm not even sure if it's a coding thing, but... As simply made as this game was, it still had, like, one of my favorite techniques. Which can only be done by these three sisters. That, of course, being... The infamous triangle attack, which has been in nearly every Fire Emblem game except for the recent ones. Which, you know what, I think that's a huge fucking waste in my opinion, you know? Have the triangle- having the triangle attack not appear? I mean, that's what makes the Pegasus Knight trios in every game so interesting, like... Like, um, Effie, like, Fire Emblem, uh, 6? You had, um, Tate? Juno and whatever her name was and they all did the triangle attack then you had Florina, Farina, and Fiora and then lastly you had um then you had uh, Vanessa, Tana, and Cyrene and then lastly you had um the big neon trio and or the um what's their name uh and or um, Marcia, Tanith, and um, Alencia. But either way, it just wasn't as intriguing to me to have them without the uh, 
but, and then Effie Awakening has doesn't have it. All right. Oh yeah, another thing with promoting to Falconites in this game, they come with the anti-monster ability. So yeah, you see that damage being dealt right there? That's some heavy damage right there. All right, so. And what I'm gonna do is this. Triangle attack, yes. Critical. And double triangle attack. Yeah, if you can double in this game, you triangle attack twice. Which is freaking amazing. And S levels up, reach level four, power up two, luck up two, defense up two. Yeah, now I'm gonna have uh, my uh, dread fighters come up here, and gonna have a uh, atlas up here with May right here. Ev Let's see. You know what, just because I can, I'm going to take care of this guy. And, holy shit, another critical. Good job, me. So, there's that. And what I'm going to do now is... I'm going to cast that deer spell. So, yep, as you, as anyone can see, um... Deer removes all but like one or two monsters, usually. So like, this really helps if say you're fighting a zombie dragon or anything like that, because zombie dragons are the scary, are like some of the most defense heavy creatures in this game, and having to fight them is kind of fucking terrifying. So yeah. You pretty much deal with them, you're good. Alright, and then there's these guys who will pretty much be unable to damage you. Alright, Kamui. Oh wait, no, that's Saber that's gonna... That's Saber right there. But yeah. Eh. Not my problem. It's not like you can really. Yep. S gets 1 EXP. And unfortunately, she can't triangle attack this one. Because. 4 damage. And 4 damage. 7 EXP. Let's see, I'm gonna have Sonya deal with this one, cause... Let's see... Okay, never mind, Sonya. I'm kinda regretting choosing Sonya over, uh, Dean. Also, I just realized I have the Hero Sword. I'm gonna give that... To, uh... I'm gonna give that to Kamui, or to Saber, because... Saber could really use the Hero Sword, and that's a good straight 32 damage. Alright, now let's do this. And I'm gonna get a lot of um, like leeway out of the triangle attack, mostly because it's gonna be my best way to level up Est. So, critical. Yep. And now S gets another level up. Level 5, power up 2, skill up 2, defense up 2, and HP up 2. So yeah, as you can see, she is going to be a powerhouse for me. And so real quick, gonna do that. And... 18 damage. And seven. 
and 18 more damage. The Atlas levels up, he's level 7, speed up 1. And I'll be right back, I gotta go use the restroom. Alright, I'm back. So, now let's have Jesse go this way. And Valbo. Valbo is really close, I just realized. Like, if we wanted him to, he could promote, like, really soon, like, chapter, uh, chapter, like, four soon. Well, actually, he'll need to promote by chapter four, because, like, otherwise, you're gonna have, like, a hard time. Hard time at the end game if none of your unit, if, like, all of your units aren't at least tier three. And he leveled up with just a luck level up. Good job. But yeah, after this, I'm gonna give Saber that hero sword that he so desperately needs. So come on and attack. Wizard dodged. You know, funny thing about like if um more if like enemy troops appear with like these bosses. You'd have to fight both the enemy troop and the boss, which would have been, which would be funny to see, to be honest, you know. And okay, so his attack distance isn't like. For some reason, I thought like these guys got like a ridiculous attack. Also, I think this guy is. Okay, he's not the silver bow. Because I know someone has a silver bow in this game, and I cannot wait to grab that for my archers. So, let's just do this. And it's not like they can damage my guys anyway, because my guys are freaking gods, and they can all kiss my asshole. Okay, so... Mmm. That guy made an interesting choice to die against Saber. You know, honestly, this game does have- like, this game is very sword-heavy, so... Maybe in hindsight I should've given- like, made a sec- Maybe I should've made, like, maybe Atlas another Myrmidon, or... Alright, so... We're gonna- we're gonna see if this will work. So, one second. Alright, there's that. Then that. And now let's have F to kill this boss. Triangle attack. Damn it. Flame was cast. S to dodge and Triangle attack. And S gets 43 EXP from that. So yeah, she's gonna be fucking amazing. Actually... Actually, uh, let's see... 20... And 15... I think, um, actually, despite Atlas... Or despite Jesse getting some good stats off that, I think um, the hero sword would be much better than on him than the bolt sword, which I think would suit a better mage like either Sonya or Mei when they promote. Because when they promote, they actually become Celica's class. But unlike um. But unlike Celica, they cannot promote into Royal. Royal is her exclusive exclusive class. So let's just kill this bastard right here. Can we kill this bastard right here? 13 damage. And I love how he just pulled out the bow repeatedly and it's like It's it's like one of those like what Mm. It's like one of those fold-up tent things, you know? Where it's like... 
I have to stop using that word so much. It's starting to s like. And not gonna. Sorry, that was a bad idea right there. So I'm going to attack with Saber instead, and hopefully he can deal some damage. Unless this entire chapter just goes to uh, to the Pegasus sisters killing everything in sight. Let's see, can he deal some good damage? Please do. 24. Alright, and he can't retaliate. Please don't kill, please don't kill. Okay, you killed. It happens. Didn't want it to this time with you, but... Come we reach level 4, power up 1. Okay, up these stairs. And no one left. And... It's already too late for you, guy. You're gonna die, whether you like it or not. And... This is just gonna be repetitive. Alright. And let's see if Est can kill this guy. Triangle attack. Mikhail's slime was used. And S dodge. And another triangle attack. And a, and dead. S gains 100 DXP. S reach level 6. Luck up 2. Defense up 2. So. Let's take a quick look at our stats, shall we? Like, she, yeah, look at that. Like, she's now got doubles in everything except for skill. Like, double digits in everything but skill, and it's only gonna get better. Alright. And I'm being really cautious, because I do not want to have to restart for any reason. And that guy's dead. Atlas gets 24 EXP. And... Oh, she comes with a steel shield of her own? Holy shit, nice. That's why she has 10 defense. Okay. That explains a lot now. So... Let's just... And... We're gonna do this. Actually, can cut, can S reach over here? Yes, she can. So, and I'm, I've been abusing the triangle attack like crazy here, haven't I? But that's because it's like such a reliably good attack. So let's see, damage and dead. Fifty-eight. Level 7, skill up 2. So now she's got 9 skill. And... Let's see if you can kill this guy. At least... Damn it. Dora. And at least... 18 damage. That's good. Not the best, but good enough. So let's see. Yeah, so... 7 damage. And Jesse gets 52 EXP. Good job. And... Yeah, so... Atlas gets stopped right there. And, let's see how much... Alright, so this one's gonna have to go to S again. 
Good job, you're gonna get all the kills today. Okay, so that right there. And we should be done soon. Come on. Come on and die. Yes. And with this, Chapter 3 is finished! Mikhail conquered... And we're now at Mila's Temple! The Earth Goddess Mila was sealed off by King Rudolph of Brigel. That's why the land is barren. As things stand, we'll all starve. Great Shaman Dolk. Rules the lands, land north of here. Trespass and they'll summon zombie dragons to devour you. Traveling north is impossible without the gorge of, without the go with with the gorge full of water. If you don't open the western floodgate, the water won't drain. There is a reserve gate in this temple basement, but the evil god Doma gave Rudolph the sword that sealed Lady Mila. If you go to the Tower of Doma, you could rescue her. Just be aware of the life-draining swamps on the way. Thanks to you, our healer returned safely. If you go north, look for a hamlet in the Lost Woods. The great sage heart who lives there ought to help you somehow. Alright, so... Yeah. I'm gonna try to reach that treasure chest right there. But, for now, there's these two things also. Do you seek power? I, I honestly forget about, like, these, st like, which statues do I seek XP? Hmm, I seek XP more than power at this point. Who accepts? Jesse. Actually, no, Jesse was... Yeah, so leveled up. Um, Volbo's already close. Hmm. Gonna give it to Sonia. And not Kamui, because Kamui d already gets all that. So, we're gonna give it to Mei. And your power wanes. And Hero. Who gets the hero? Well, the store, the bolt, and you'll take the hero. Jesse. Yeah, Jesse will get the hero. And now we have this. I'm the guard of this floodgate. What? You want me to open it? No can do. Only the Sophian. Royal family can order this gate open. I ain't listening to you. Hmm, wait a second, that crown. That's the royal family's crest. Then you must be the long lost Princess Antiz. F forgive my rudeness. I'll open the floodgate straight away. Your Highness, the western floodgate must also be open during the water. Alright. And with that, gonna go outside and then we're gonna finish up here and we'll be good. So save game, continue playing. And let's move this way. Oh, Mila's floodgate's been open. I'll open, I'll open this gate right away. And now the water will be drained. And we'll be good. Northwest Floodgate is the kingdom of Regal. Be careful. You have reached Chapter 3's end. Save your game. Yes. Game saved. Continue playing. Well, we'll do that next time. This has been The Great Rick. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And leave a comment. Goodbye.